Money Rocks, where we expose crime, corruption, and shocking betrayals of public trust. Let's bring in my good friend Pam Geller, co-founder of Stop the Islamization of America, who was actually interviewed by 60 Minutes for that piece about the Ground Zero Mosque. Pam, uh, before we begin, I want to play one more clip from that interview with the Imam. Take a listen. If you are so deeply concerned about the danger in America and the danger abroad, why not just move it out of the neighborhood? Because it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Our community wants it. And now America needs it. Pam Geller, thanks for joining us. America needs it. Do we need the... What do you think of that piece? I think it perfectly illustrates the crippling bias in the mainstream media. America needs it. It is wrong. It is patently wrong. And that piece was a big, wet kiss. Uh, Gamal was given a free pass. He's a thug. He threatened a moderate Muslim, Rahil Raza, who was against the mosque because it's patently uh, at, at wrong and deeply offensive. He has been evicted from his Soho offices. Uh, uh, the Raouf is a, is a slumlord. All of this was given a free pass. I, of course, was demonized. But to threaten, he's threatening. He's threatening us when he says he's standing between, he's standing between us and the radicals. You know what? Get out of the way. Well, Let me take pan. care of the radicals. How about this? Here's what I was looking for. I was waiting for them to start. I was waiting for them to be fair and balanced. I saw a lot of, you know, he's a bridge builder. He's a moderate Muslim. I'm still trying to figure we follow the money, Pam. $18,000. Here it is. Here's their tax return from 2000, end of 2008. They had 18 grand, the Cordoba Initiative. This is the group that's going to be building the mosque. 100, how are they going from 18 grand to 100 million bucks? Where was that? Where were those questions? What was Pelly doing? Why didn't Pelly even show Raouf's original appearance on 60 Minutes where he said that the U.S. was an accessory we to 9-11? We have that. You guys have it. Let's go to that. Let's, uh, I'm glad Pam brought that up. Let's go to that side. That's exactly what he said. He said we were an accessory. He also blamed But why? It was on 60 Minutes. Take a look. The United States policies were an accessory to the crime that happened. In fact, it, in the most direct sense, Osama bin Laden is made in the USA. And that was 60 Minutes. That was Ed Bradley asking that question nine years ago. Where was that 60 Minutes? Uh, we saw something completely different last night. No, they were shilling for the mosque. And look, this is a country that loves religious freedom. We have hundreds of mosques in New York, thousands across America. This is deeply divisive. This has caused an enormous amount of pain. Where is the healing? I ask you, Eric, where is the outreach? Where is the common decency? We're constantly being schooled in this hypersensitivity in the Muslim world. Don't burn the Quran. Don't run the Danish cartoons. Here we, we're saying, please, don't build a 15-story mega mosque looking down. And that building, you saw how they walked? I thought that was precious. The walking to ground zero, that you, building is that ground zero. That aggravated me, Pam. That aggravated me a lot because we spent a lot of time. This show has been at the Ground Zero Mosque. We took pictures inside the Ground Zero Mosque. I've walked that distance from uh, 51 Park to the, to the actual, to, to where bro ground is being broken uh, uh, during the, uh, the rebuilding of Ground Zero. I could throw a baseball there. I can throw a baseball from one corner to the other. Eric. That building is ground zero. That building was destroyed. It was sold for $4.87 million because it was destroyed in the attacks. Are you going to tell me the Muslim terrorists that flew the planes into the buildings knew that they were going to implode? They intended for them to fall over and maybe destroy half of lower Manhattan. Before I go to my next guest, what, what, what did you think of the 60 Minutes characterization, characterization of you? They called you a what? A, a right wing? They're far right wing uh, conspiracy theorists. It's part of the Islamic supremacist agenda to uh, call anyone who is offended by this most offensive idea as a racist or a bigot. But it is not racism or bigotry to point out subversion and dishonesty, which is what m myself and my colleagues are doing. All right, hang in there, Pam. I want to bring in my next guest, Mr. Ahmed Rehab, Executive Director of CARE Chicago. Mr. Ahmed, I think uh, the mainstream media has been too lax in reporting on the Imam Rauf. I saw the slums he owns. I was inside the slums he owns. I saw toilet water dripping from the apartment above into this, this poor family's apartment down below. But you say CBS was fair, uh, except for the softball they threw at Pam Geller? Ha <laughs> ha! That's, ex that's exactly right. And you just called her your good friend. I don't know if you visited her anti-Muslim blog anytime recently, Adler Shrugs, where you can see a video that she posted where she's implying that Muslims have sex with goats and she's su suggesting that they should wear Muhammad condoms. 
Okay. I don't know that's if you can still call her your good friend. Yeah. Okay. That's a lie. Well, we have a screenshot a of that, and, and you're, yeah. you're you the lying bigot. You don't have a screenshot of that. Do, do that you also a deny that you put a picture of, of the Prophet Muhammad you with Ahmed. a pig for a face? Yeah. No. Do, do you deny you that you put that on it your was blog? It's part of everybody. Do you deny Muhammad that you put that on your blog? Have you condemned where Molly Norris has had to change her name? Don't the question. You're evading the question, You are one of the most anti-Muslim bigots out on the internet, and you are an anti-non-Muslim and Islamic supremacist, and all you do is you hate. You hate. Hold on. Pam, hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mr. Well, pa Pam also Pam also suggested that we should you know we should nuke Mecca, and this was done on her blog on uh, February 24th, 2010. You can go there and see it. I um, did she not She also see suggested she was, no. that Obama is an anti-Semite, a pimp, and oh, a yes. jihadist. I, I and believe she put that's a picture true. of him urinating on the flag. She is a certified loon. You know, I, she's a bigot of the highest of the highest order. And you're calling her your good friend, Eric. So I don't know well, if you, how you feel about that now. Mr. Rehab, because I spent a lot of time with Pam, I was down there at Ground Zero for both uh, of the bombings. I was in the building in 1993. I was also uh, on my way to the, to the Trade t uh, Center Towers in 2001 when, when they were bombed. I have personal experience there. I've lost a lot of friends there. I'm angry with... with the moderate Muslim group who says this mosque, this Ground Zero mosque, is a, uh, a bridge uh, to build a relationship between moderate Islam and America. I don't see it that way. If that were the case, why wouldn't the imam last night on national television, the premiere of 60 Minutes, say, you know, we decided we are going to build, build that bridge between America and, and Islam. We're going to move that mosque just a block or two away. You know, I'm sorry, Eric, that truth and facts anger you because the fact is that this is a center being built near Ground Zero in order to build bridges between Muslims and others. Yeah, and you can uh, see there's that no it's way around that bridge. fact. I think it's what, important I mean, to note. I think it's important what, what to note that Imam care. I think it's Faisal important to note that with, care with the were named as co-conspirators. No, I think the American people to know, need to know that care was named what, as co-conspirators in the Holy Imam Land trial. The largest Hamas, the largest Hamas funding trial. You were named as Muslim Brotherhood fronts. Answer the question, please, guys, one at a time. One at a time. They never let the truth get out. You're at the forefront of the lies that this is answer, Pam. Go ahead, sir. You're. Pamela is at the forefront of those who are claiming that this is a victory mosque at Ground Zero, which is a blatant lie. So I'm asking right. her right now, what can she tell us in terms of proof that Imam Faisal Darouf had anything to do Hang in with there. the hijackers of the planes? Hang in there. We, we can go and back and forth on this all night. Let's, I want to bring in the panel. I want to bring in Fox's very own Bill Hemmer, host of America's Newsroom. On the right, radio talk show host Mr. David Webb. And on the left, we have our good friend, Fox News contributor Bob Beckel. Hey, Beckel, last time you were on this show, mm -hmm. you said this. Take a listen. But look, at some point, I know it's sensitive here in New York and probably New Jersey, but we are going to have to get over 9-11. All right, so that created quite a stir. This yeah. whole thing, they, it just won't go away. Do we really have to get I don't want to get over 9-11. I just don't want to get over it. Do I have to? No, you can stay here in New York and get involved in it all you want. I want to get over it in Washington, D.C. so I can get our mall back, so I can get the Supreme Court doors open, so I don't have cops every place I go looking and checking into your cars for a bunch of non-existent terrorists. Hey, Beckel, and let me tell you something. Spend can I just tell you something? a trillion dollars more on defense to try who, to stop a bunch of terrorists fault, that don't exist. Whose fault is it that, that you have cops wherever you go, you have security, security wherever you go, and you have to take off your shoes every time you get on an airplane? I don't think it's uh, the Italian-Americans right now. I think these are, this is, can be attributed to radical Islamists. You can call it radical yeah, not, Islamists. Not there are Islamists. radical Islamists, <laughs> but there are also Muslims. a lot of moderate Islamists. You wouldn't know that from looking at uh, my friends, uh, your friend's uh, webpage, uh, who accused the president right, of the United Mr. States of being anti-Semitic, which is about Mr. as Mr. ridiculous a charge I've ever heard. Bob Beckel thinks we should get over 9-11. Okay, maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. He also complains about the, the increased security. The amount of money we're paying on security now as a nation it has, has to be in the billions. And that really is as a result of some, you know, planes flying into buildings that were flown by uh, Muslim, radical Muslim terrorists, planes trying to be blown up over Detroit, a, a car bomb in Times Square. All of these are traced back to radical Islam. Right. They're traced back to radical outlaws not to the mainstream moderate Muslim community, which is the one building the center near Ground Zero. Now, Mr. Beckel, and he can correct me if I'm wrong, 
uh, he's not suggesting that we should get over grieving for for 9/11. He's that's, suggesting that we should get the over politicizing. That's the part they cut out of my, my statement. Of course, this right. is what they do. We should, here we should, on we Money should get over we'll, politicizing so what, 9/11 I don't know that was for personal I don't know. gain. I listen, we, you know what we'll do? We can't do it right now because this thing has to be produced. Becca, we'll, we'll take a, a bigger cut of your shot. But I'm pretty sure that was. It no, was I like said a, I don't think it created quite a bit of outrage. No, no, it did. I said I just I don't think we should forget it. But I think we should get over it. It wasn't yesterday. Just to finish, if I may, if I may finish my point. Mr. Med, please go ahead, Bill. Life is a yeah, lot Bill, more if, I, if I may finish my point. Well, I think, no, no, sir. Second, hold on, sir. Life is a lot more inconvenient for most yeah. Americans today than they were I think his point 10 years is, ago. I think his point Bill, is, hold on. Mr. So Med, Mr. We need, Med, we appreciate you on the show, but please, uh, please uh, give way to Mr. Hammer right now. Go but ahead. Those days aren't coming back, as unfortunate as that might be. What days what, are You want the doors back? in front of the Supreme Court reopened? Those days are past us. And they didn't necessarily change during 9-11. They because changed in Oklahoma City. They, wait, well, that, oh, that was our own homegrown right-wing terrorists. Uh, well, all in, no, first point, of all. The point is that's the world we live in today. Pam, I, I, t I thought you were wonderful last night in 60 Minutes. I thought you, you stated your point with eloquence. What I did not know until last night, they're praying inside that building today. And I, I, I don't think that's something that most people even realize. What's wrong with that? No, I'm not saying there's years, anything wrong with it, but they're saying a mosque will be there. There is already a mosque there. I would like to address it's been the, the, the strip joint Mr. there. Mr. Beckel's point. I don't know why you're carrying water for the, the, the most radical, intolerant ideology in the world today. There have been 20,000 documented radical Islamic attacks since 9 11, each one with the imprimatur of a, of a Muslim cleric. Yeah, you better, you better, I don't be, know why you better be very careful. You're a woman. You better be very careful about saying who I carry water yeah, for because you have no idea yeah, what you're talking you're, about. And, I, and don't you, start putting me in the middle you of your crap. Don't right? you point I'll to me. I'll point to you all I want. Don't you point to me. You're a Muslim. You give yourself 15 minutes. You give yourself 15 minutes of fame. You've had too many minutes. You're picking on a bunch of Muslims. You're picking on a bunch of women. You're a woman hater. A woman hater. Yes, sir. A woman hater. Yeah, look how you're talking to me. It's outrageous. You are nuts. Yeah, I'm not nuts. I just want to deal in the facts here. Let's talk about Ralph, okay? This is a moderate Muslim. The title of his book in Indonesia translates as The Call from the W the World Trade Center Rubble. And Bob, by the way, get it over 9-11, no matter how you couch it. It's not up to you to determine when they get over 9-11, and by your logic, why don't black people get over slavery? The, I because didn't it's say, not up to you, Bob. David, I said, let us never forget the date. Let us just not, let's get over it and, and realize it wasn't yesterday. What, there are people who will never see Bill, their family members again. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, guys, hang in there. I want to go to Mr. Rehab again one more time. So here's a question. And, and again, I was waiting for it last night well, in that well, piece. Hold on. Let me ask you a question, please. There was a $2 million loan given to Imam Rauf in New Jersey for uh, improvements on his apartment buildings. He never paid that loan back. We're still looking for the $2 million. I was inside those buildings. I saw slums. I saw bed bugs. I saw absolutely absolute filth. I saw people who were, who were told to pay with money orders, not to pay with cash or checks, because that's the way he wanted to do business. Where was that side of the story last night, sir? Well, again, what you're trying to do here is evade the central issue, which is the principal position on whether we can build a center there or not, and whether we should or not. And going back to Mr. Be Beckel's point, we shouldn't forget about 9-11. We, we should move beyond the politicization and the exploitation of the memory of 9-11 for personal political gain or for ra ra ratings or for notoriety, like uh, your certified bigot friend there, uh, Pamela Geller, is doing. Oh, and that's oh, exactly oh, what we're anti. Hey, hey, hey Bill, just, Bill Hammer, bring some, bring some uh, you know, stability to this. Call. I mean, it's getting Pam's a little crazy. Start Bill, 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 oh, hold on, hold on. Shouldn't we oh, know... I was going to have to get the between the two. Shouldn't we ahead. know where this money is coming from, this $100 million well, well, that they're going to raise? What he has said, he has said that he will let everybody know. And they've got to get to $100 million, but we will know the books. Uh, and he's also uh, gone on record, not just in this country, but on the last State Department visit overseas, that it won't come from Iran. It won't come from Hamas. He's on record as saying that. What do you think we're not going to find out well, where the $100 million comes from? He's I don't not know. Allowed. No, they're, they're not sure we are. Wait, wait, oh, David. Guys, there's many ways to funnel money, number one, and get it through Saudi Arabia and other areas. Remember, it was Saudi Arabia that exported Wahhabism here with about $100 million input in the 80s. On what? top of that, on top of this, the problem I have with him is he keeps going back to the specious argument of a constitutional issue. They have the right to build. It's about appropriateness, and that is false of you to try that argument. Last word, Mr. Which, Ahmed Riyadh. They don't have the right Last to word, build. Last word, real quick. I'm not saying we should build because we have the right to build. I'm saying we should build you just because did. it's the right thing to do. 
No, no. They have well, the right I'm to build. You, I'm telling you it's because it's the right thing to do. How is it the it's right thing? It's the right thing to build a moderate center that can bring people together, that actually goes against the very ideology of Al-Qaeda. You know, building this center is the worst thing that can happen to bin Laden. That's not why we're doing it. We're doing it because right, it's the best right, well, thing okay. that can happen to our country. We're going to have to leave it there. Yeah, you know, those are some uh, fairly <laughs> interesting <laughs> things you have to say. Uh, we'll bring you back, though. We appreciate your time, Pam Geller. For and interesting Ahmed things, Rehab. go visit Atlas Shrugs. You'll find a lot of interesting things uh, there. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you very much. Don't go away. We'll be Thank right you. back.